welcome back to the Midnight Who Show, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing the final of the three Doctor Who 60th Anniversary Specials, The Giggle. And this was the one that I was the most excited for because it features the return of the Toymaker, which has not been seen on the television side of Doctor Who since 1966. So it's definitely time for this villain to make their grand return. Now this review will contain spoilers for this episode because there's some really huge moments. And I will start off this review with saying that Neil Patrick Harris is a phenomenal choice as the toy maker. They really bring this character to life. And it's just they have that energy for this role really well. And I really enjoyed just the chaotic dancing that, you know, when all this chaos was happening at the beginning, the toy maker's just dancing in the background and even dances with the doctor. That was great. And I also really enjoyed just how much fun they seem to have in this role. And I really enjoyed when the doctor finally realized who it was. And I really enjoyed that little flashback they did to the original Celestial Toyman story, and we got to see the colorized scenes. That was so cool. And that scene in the Toymaker's domain was so eerie and creepy, and I really enjoyed it. You know, those puppets coming to life and all that. So creepy and cool at the same time. And I really loved the puppet show that the Toymaker does, and you really get to see how much lives the Doctor really lost after, of course, Donna. So that was great. And I really enjoyed the Doctor's game that he played with the Toymaker, and now they're tied, which I thought was clever, because that led the way to the final game, Best of Three Toymaker. Now, Unit returned in this story, but they had a few surprises in this time. Of course, we see the return of Kate Stewart, but the biggest one, which is not really that big of a secret anymore, was Mel is back. And it was just great to see, and I love the Doctor's reaction when you realize it's, it's Mel. Now, I think the biggest moment in this entire episode that's going to be talked about the most, and probably will be a little bit controversial, is of course the 14th Doctor. Regenerating the shoot he got was 15th Doctor. I thought that was very clever of the toy maker to force a regeneration because he played with one Doctor for the first game, another for the second, he needs another one. But I think no one really expected the by regeneration Yep, they split the Doctor apart into David's 14th Doctor and Shooty's 15th Doctor. We got a multi-Doctor story at the end. And boy, Shooty Gatwa is already impressing me as the Doctor. They just have the energy and they seem a lot having fun. And I cannot wait to see more of their stories. I'm really excited for it. But I absolutely enjoyed that scene and their just chaos with all that happening. And the final game, of course, was a very simple one of throwing the ball the toy maker missed it and he was defeated but definitely the doctor might have left a little bit more superstition at the end of time like i'm kind of very curious what's going to happen now and of course the tease of the master too because he tried to beat the toy maker and that didn't go really well and he's a gold tooth but who picked that up there's so many questions and i cannot wait to see the answers Ugh. Russell T. Davis is definitely hinting towards some very interesting things in the future. Now, I will say I can understand like a bi regeneration happening, but I still kind of, my disbelief still at the idea of just walking the TARDIS and it creates two separate ones. That one I'm still not quite. But now the 14th Doctor gets to live on his own, rest a little bit, and join the noble family. And that was just a great scene at the end with him just with all of them. So overall, The Giggle was a pretty great special for Doctor Who. It was so action-packed, and I absolutely enjoyed seeing the toy maker back in action and even entering our world. That was so good. We get to see a little bit of their domain, but then their antics in the real world, and I think that is so clever. And just, just Russell T. Davies, he did a great special here with a little bit of a controversial moment, of course, at the end. But I think that's just an interesting change in there. It's really interesting of the 14th and the 15th at the same time. What did you guys think of the giggle? Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.